What's your relationship with death? A comfortable one. Yeah? It's a comfortable one. It's a it's an understanding. You can't have life without death, can't have life without the dark. Right? So it's an acceptance of that. Thanks for watching this video. Um, I just wanted to make this really short and sweet. You know, today is a very devastating day. I'm sorry, it's dark out. I wanted to record before it gets way too dark. I'm on my way to LA right now because I'm moving. And it's just so sad that the day I'm moving back to LA, a GOAT, the legend, Kobe Bryant, dies in a fatal, tragic accident. Like, this is just, I'm lost for words. I've been crying all morning. I never met Kobe, but it's like he felt like family. And for LA to be my second home, I definitely, this one definitely hit home, especially, you know, last year how we lost Nipsey Hussle. And I was moving back to LA too around that time. And then now we're losing Kobe and I'm moving back to LA right now again. And it's just like, and this all happened a year ago. And it's just crazy how, and I just got offered a job, a new job. And it's just like, wow. You know, as soon as something good comes, something bad has to happen in return. It's like, you can never just have something good, good, good happening. It's like something tragic has to happen. And I just want to say blessings to his family. Blessings to you, whoever's watching this. Blessings to you and your family. It's very important to understand that our lives can be gone just like that. Did you think that they knew that that was going to happen to them today? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt they knew that that was going to happen to them today. And it's just an honor and a blessing to be a part of that Laker family. And you know, my brother, like my family, we are Laker fans. Like, as y'all, like, Lakers on all day. I've been crying all day because I am at a loss for words, you guys. I can't even, like, fathom what to say. And I haven't even met this dude. I never met Nipsey. RIP to both of them legends. Legends help the community. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, for people, if you've never even met someone before and you shed tears, that is some real love. I don't care what anybody says. If you shed tears over somebody that you never met a single day in your life and you shed tears for that person, you know, that is something that words just can't describe. I am very, very sad right now. And I'm also happy at the same time because we can all come together and love on each other more. This gives us the opportunity to really like love one another and genuinely understand that our lives can be gone at any second and not to take it for granted. You know what I'm saying? We take so many things for granted. It's ridiculous. We take this oxygen for granted. You know, we take the fact that we can open our eyes and see and breathe and smell and touch and taste and feel. And I... I'm honestly, a, I'm truly an emotional person. Everyone that knows me knows I am very emotional. I'm very sensitive. So this definitely, you know what I'm saying? This has definitely um, made me feel some type of way. I am very sad, but I'm also happy at the fact that he lived his life. Kobe has, I mean, I don't know the dude. You know what I'm saying? And it's like for me to just have so much emotion towards him and what he's done, it's not just only about basketball. Yes, basketball was his main, you feel me? That was his main get down was basketball. But it's like at the same time, not only was he a family man, he was just an inspiration to millions of people. This basketball player is known worldwide, okay? He's done so much in his life, in his short 41 years. He was definitely taken way too soon. But you know, in God's plan, you know, I feel like a lot of people that die in times like this, when we're already going through so much, it's like, it, it's really to wake us up. We have to wake up. You know what I'm saying? We can't stay asleep, y'all. We have to wake up spiritually, mentally. I think there was a video. I'm gonna find it, y'all. I'm gonna put it in here. 
it was a video of Kobe and he said that um, I think it was some, like an interview and he was saying that he's not afraid of death or something like that because we shouldn't be afraid of death now the only reason why I say I'm sad is because I mean of course I wanted to meet Kobe I never got the chance to meet him never got the chance to be in the same you know vicinity as him before of course I've been to Laker games but I've never been like you know able to have a conversation with the guy not even a hi how you doing or i'm such a big fan thank you for all that you do i didn't get the opportunity to do that so you know and i'm pretty sure millions of people can say the same thing that haven't met kobe and those that have met kobe in a short amount of time i'm pretty sure they have nothing but positive things to say about that man and it's just so sad and tragic the situation you know what i'm saying deaths are a sad thing and i know that la is going through it and i like i said i am driving to la right now and I am just so sad that I'm driving to LA and this is like what I'm driving into. I'm driving into mourning. I'm dri driving into grief. I'm driving into sad, tragic burdens over people. Like people are sad right now. This is a sad time. You know, and it was like when Nip died, it was just a whole sad like few months. And I really hope that people are starting to wake up and realize that death is a part of life. And at the end of the day, Especially legends. Legends will never die. Legends will never die. But it's like, it's also important to understand that he will live on forever. Just like anyone else that passed. We live on past this lifetime. So that gives me more of a comfort within myself knowing that, you know, this was a tragic situation. But out of it comes blessings and that we should appreciate and celebrate his life instead of being devastated and you know down about it we should understand that he gave his all he gave his all and we need to understand that those who have died before us that were tremendous you know what i'm saying that were tremendous tremendous influencers inspirations to us all we need to take heed of their life how were they living their life? Were they were they gossiping all the time? I was watching the interview earlier. They said that Kobe didn't even speak much. He didn't like asking too many questions. But he was a family guy. He was a family man. Just like Nip. He was a family man. You know, so it's like regardless of their own, what they did for their living, at the same time, these were people with true, legit souls. Beautiful souls at that. And it's just so sad that we as a society, you know, the first thing I did when I woke up this morning is look at what happened. You know, Kobe dies in a tragic accident, helicopter crash. And I'm just like, are you serious? This is crazy. You know what I'm saying? So it's just really sad. And for, for anyone who thinks death is a bad thing, it is not. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a sad time because we all feel like he was taken before his time and he had so many things and you know, news reporters, they were saying that he was like, you know, the happiest he's ever been, you know, since he retired. He's just, he just had so many things in store. You know, a lot of us do. And it's just unfortunate that those, you know, who are taken from us early don't get to live out what they had planned. So, it, you know, he did a lot in his life. And I just want to say blessings and condolences to his family. Prayers are up for them right now. I know everybody in the world felt this one. You don't even have to know Kobe. You can just look at him and you're going to know that this was a great guy that inspired millions of people. And with all that being said, y'all, I'm going to keep this short and sweet because I, I had so much more to say. And this video is already 10 minutes long, but I had so much more to say and I just can't even fathom words right now. Like, I'm very sad. As you guys see, I'm driving to L.A. right now and it's um i believe it's like 6 30 so i'm not gonna get there until like 10 30 and i'm just really sad and i i'm just i'm trying to be in better spirits i wanted to make this video make this vlog and release you know my emotions and i just pray that we as a people come together and love one another you know forget the wars Forget the drama, forget the controversy, forget forget all of that, forget the competition. We, need to, we all need to unite as one and come together and realize we gotta love on one another. Love is the answer. Don't do things out of fear. Don't be fearful of death. Death is gonna come. That's a part of this life. You have to realize you elevate when you die. 
Kobe and his daughter and that family that lost their lives as well today, like they're all elevated from this lifetime. They're, they're moving on, but their spirits could still be here. You know, for those in mourn, we want to feel their energy. We want to keep that in high spirits. So I'm going to close this video out by saying, I love y'all. Thanks for watching this vlog. Keep your head up. Love those who you really dearly love. Appreciate them. Tell them every day if you need to. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next vlog. I'm on my way to LA. So I have a lot in store this week. Start my new job training tomorrow morning. And getting a place this week as well. You know, I'm on manifesting and being positive And as we all should, it's 2020. Our vision should be really clear, especially after this passing of Kobe and all those that lost their lives this morning. It's just so sad, man. It's just so sad. But we want to continue their legacy. Kobe was the GOAT. He was the great, the greatest to ever do it, in my opinion. And we love you, Kobe. We love y'all. Everybody that lost their lives, thank you for your service here on this earth. Thank you. If no one else told you before you passed, thank you. Today is the day, I tell you, as you leave. Because we didn't get to say goodbye. We didn't know this was going to happen to you guys. So thank you all for your services. Rest in peace. You did an amazing job here. Job well done. I know God is happy right now to be receiving lovely spirits. And we're just going to continue this legacy. You know, this should tell all of us to wake up. We waking up, y'all. We got to stick together. Stop the hate. Stop the drama. Let's all get it. There's room enough for all of us to win. We have to win. There's no, <laughs> there's no in between. We have to get it. So... All right, I know I keep talking. I'm just, oh, I can't even talk right. Y'all, I'm so sorry. My words, I'm driving. I'm, I've been crying all day. I look a mess right now, but <sighs> see you on the next video. You guys have to excuse, you have to excuse my brother's room. It's dirty, but he's not home right now. But I know when he comes home, he might be so emotional because his room is literally filled with liquor. Like, it's so sad. Like, he has the Lakers everywhere. You know, my brother grew up in LA and that was like his inspiration growing up. And literally, you can see, literally, you can see in all these pictures, my brother has Kobe on. And he always wants me to wear a Kobe jersey. Like, he literally loves Kobe, you guys. It's so crazy sorry if you can't really see like my brother loves Kobe he admired him so much literally every every picture he has Lakers on like you guys these are literally all different occasions <laughs> I mean even in this picture you can see